One of the coolest features that came along way back in Oracle 12 was the in-memory column store, version 12.102, I think. Now, I'm not gonna spend this video talking about exactly what it does and all the facilities and benefits, but understand enough that we know that it's effectively a cache inside the SGA, which transforms row data into columnar format data to help with analytic queries against your genuine sort of row-based sources. You don't have to go invest in a whole brand new database with a columnar format just to get those benefits. In this case, we have rows coming straight out of our familiar relational structures, going into a columnar memory format, which dramatically speeds up all sorts of analytic style queries in your database. But unlike any of the other caches that sit there in your Oracle memory, your buffer cache, large pool, whatever, it is not just data that's coming from disk and being stored into memory. Stuff happens to get data into the in-memory column store. We have to read that data up. We have to transpose it from row to format. We compress it. We do deduplication. A lot of work goes on to put stuff into the in-memory column store. That consumes CPU. And it seems a terrible pity that the next time you stop and start your database, for example, you're applying security patches, etc then all that goodness goes to waste. All that work you did to transform rows into columns to compress data, it all gets thrown away because as you know, memory doesn't persist across a machine bounce or database restart. That means that when you do restart your database, you effectively start from ground zero again. You have to read all that data back into the in-memory store and burn a lot of CPU in order to populate the in-memory column store. One little discussed feature that's been around since 12.2 is a thing called the in-memory fast start. What we'll do is, as the database is running, from time to time, we'll dump the contents or part of the contents of the in-memory column store out to disk for the sole purpose of if the database gets bounced or restarted, whether it's by accident or as a scheduled basis, what we'll do is when the database resumes, rather than have to start from scratch and reload all that information into the in-memory column store, burning CPU, compressing, etc we can simply read the compressed contents from that data store we had and bring it straight back into the in-memory column store. So how do we configure it? It's very simple to do. Using DBMS in-memory admin, we create what we call a fast start area. We nominate a table space into which the in-memory column store will occasionally be dumped out. What happens when you do that? Effectively, we go ahead and we create a secure file lob inside that table space. If we're dumping out binary information from memory, well, naturally the best place to store that is in a binary large object. We use our own technology, a secure file, in order to hold that information. When the database restarts, we simply reach out, check for that lob, drag it back into in-memory, and you are off and running again without the CPU overhead of repopulating the in-memory column store. So if you're using in-memory, make sure you check out the fast start facilities to avoid burning CPU and of course impacting performance shortly after a database restart.